there's been three attempts that I've made to try and get to this location where I am today. The first was postponed due to illness, the second was postponed due to terrible weather, and the third, well the third, I'm here, I'm finally at this place. Now here is a place called Pistol Radar, or actually it probably isn't called Pistol Radar, hmm. the pronunciation's probably terrible. We're here today to shoot the new film Pistol Radar. Pistol Radars. <laughs> Science fiction waterfall extravaganza. <laughs> <laughs> Now this place is known for being the tallest waterfall in the UK, which is pretty impressive. At least that's what they say. And I first found out about this place watching a video on YouTube on someone's channel uh, called Tim Day. Now he's a great photographer and a vlogger. And if you love landscape photography, then you should definitely check his channel out. I'll leave a link to that at the end of this video. So why would I want to come to the tallest waterfall in the UK? Apart from the fact that I absolutely love taking pictures of waterfalls and I'm a landscape photographer. Well, it's because I've recently created a website and apart from workshops and digital courses, I wanted to create something really tangible that I could kind of sell and produce. And that for me was prints. So today I've come here in the hopes of taking a beautiful picture which I can use as a print on my website. I almost forgot to say as well, today I have my dad with me. Hi again. <laughs> it's becoming part of the furniture. All right, let's get going. this incredible waterfall. Now I just hope you can hear me because as always, I always seem to be standing so close to the waterfall that you seem to be able to hear so much of the waterfall and less of me. Maybe that's not a bad thing, I don't really know. I've got my setup here. When I first arrived here, I was a bit worried about the weather because the last two places I've visited, Bamford Edge and Carding Mill Valley, I'd experienced bad weather conditions on both occasions. But then I realized I'm actually photographing the tallest waterfall in the UK. Why would I need to get the sky in? So I'm here, I've got my camera set up, it's in aperture priority mode, got it on F11, ISO 100, and I've even popped on there a polarizer just to make sure that I can get the reflections out and then just get that nice punchy green by the side of the waterfall popping right out the image. Hopefully you can see this okay. I've chosen this beautiful composition here, which to be honest with you, is a composition that you probably wouldn't expect to take if you're at the tallest waterfall in the UK. You'd think that you'd be shooting all of the shots of just that waterfall there. But for me, this is just a splendid composition. And the reason for that is, you've got the beautiful colors in the autumn leaves there, and you've also got this beautiful little babbling waterfall, which is just coming from the rocks on the right hand side there. And I think this is going to make an absolutely beautiful horizontal composition. Now I'm actually shooting this in manual mode and I'm making sure that I'm on F11. My exposure is about 15 seconds I believe. 
15 seconds and that's going to enable me to get that beautiful silky blur all over the water. All that's left for me to do now is take the photo. Take a look at that fantastic view. This place has really lived up to the expectations that I had for it. It's a fantastic location to come and shoot a waterfall shot. So if that's something you're interested in, then you should definitely come here and give it a go. I managed to get about three shots today, which I'm happy with, and I think one that I'll definitely be using for a print on my website. Now, like I said earlier on in the video, uh, Tim Day inspired me to come here. I watched one of his videos that he visited here and it's a great video and that's the reason I came. You should definitely check him out. He's a great vlogger and a great photographer. And if you're a mobile phone photographer, then even more reason to watch his content. Because he's recently swapped over from the X-T2, which is a great camera, over to the P20, which is actually a mobile phone. If you'd like to watch any more of my content, then I'll stick a link around about here or here somewhere on the screen. Go and check that out. Uh, I'd be really appreciative if you did that. Also, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. And whatever you do today, guys, I hope you have a fantastic day. And I'll see you all really soon.